everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a very 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 simple floral design of course I am going to be using 2A magic brushes they're both number 14's I have a flat brush and a filbert brush I will put links down below for you to be able to purchase these via those links if you choose to do so using a number 8 deer foot stippler and of course my little fine liner by Westonia all the paints I use are folk art paints, combination of enamels and multi-surface using magenta, medium blue, French blue, and cerulean blue. I will also be using Thicket, Happy Green, and wicker white. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin by using my filbert brush and I'm just going to be dipping it into the different blues. You can do blending strokes if you want, but once again, I don't really want it to be you know, real regimented as far as the design goes. I just like it to turn out and be the color that it ends up being once I do this. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and push down. I'm going to pull and then raise up and turn my brush as I go. Also, when you're doing this, if you want to add in some white, you can do so. All right, so just doing just quick little, little strokes. Push down, pull away. And then I might come back over here and do one and pull it away from there. Now again, if you feel like you're seeing it not be as opaque as you want it to be, then go back over it. Always can add white. That has definitely helps with it, making it more opaque. Or you can let it dry for a little bit and go back over it with a second coat, up to you. All right, so we're gonna come over here, do the same thing. And I just keep touching my brush into the paint as I go. Come up like that. If you're new to my channel and you have any questions, please put those down below. Before you leave, if you would take a moment to share my video, I'd appreciate it. And also subscribe. Comments down below if you have any questions. I will do my best to get back to you and I'm just going back over these a little bit as I'm working on it. Not a biggie. All right, going to set this aside. Next thing I'm going to do is take my Deerfoot stippler and I'm going to stick it into the tea berry or no magenta actually it's magenta I'm sorry I was thinking it was tea berry magenta and I do apologize, I am left-handed, so my hand a lot of times will get into the video and cover what I'm doing, so I'm trying to work on that the best I can, but just pounce it in. You just want to like a circle or an oval, up to you. And just loose. Don't doesn't need to be anything real structured, just a loose painting. And then I'm going to tip the back of my brush into the, the white, the wicker white, tap it off a little bit, and then come back in here, add a little bit of the white to the base here, kind of tap it off, and then come back in here, just blend it in a little bit. And come down into the petals. See, this is where if you didn't want to if you want to make sure you didn't get any of the blue into the center, then you would make sure that you let it dry. You can hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, whatever the case may be. Go back over it if you need to. And then if you just want to add a more white into it, you can. You want to do some dots into it, you can. But there you go, just very simple. All right, going to put that aside. The next thing I'm going to do is come in here with my 
liner stick it into my greens I always just stick it in and pull it out and kind of roll the brush as I'm doing it and as you're adding paint you can come back in and just you know scoop it into the brush like that and I'm gonna pull my stem I always like to have my wavy stems now when you're doing this because the thicker you put the paint on the more durable your design is going to be. I like to try to you know, just make it a little thicker as far as the paint goes. It doesn't have to be wider as far as the design goes, but just a little thicker. All right, so I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to pick up my flat brush. One side into the happy green, one side into the thicket. I'll just do a few quick little blending strokes. I'm going to probably add some white in here and you can vary that if you want as you go. I'm not real particular about this part. I know a lot of people want to see some people do 5,000 blending strokes. I just do it very quickly and continue on. All right, so here we go. We're going to do this style of leaf where I'm going to wiggle it down and then come back the side and just kind of swirl it around. And you may have a little bit of this going on so you can always, you know, come back over it, go back over your your leaf if you want and try to work on getting that or you can just take a little brush and fill it in later if it continues if you don't like it. It's the only problem with doing this kind of flipping and such on glass is that you know a lot of times it will pull stuff back up so you may have to go back over it. Let me go over this one again. Adding a little bit of white into there actually helped make it a little bit more stable. Alright, I'm just going to go through here and just continue doing this type of leaf. And just varying it in and out. You can always, like I said, take a smaller brush even and come back in. I'm going to add a little bit more white to this. Or just leave it. Not a big deal. And I'll do it here. Again, I just want to have these wherever I can get them. Put them in. I have to be careful here because I am going to pull blue out when I do this one. And I know that just before I even do it. <laughs> Alright, so you can turn your bottle if you want to just have some that are coming out. this coming and if you just want to make it two you can if you want to make it more than that you can like I can come up here because I like my odd numbers and then just pull I can also take my little liner which I'm going to go back to and come through here and just add these little stems into it because I'm not going to add any other flowers or leaves. This is it. Or you can just use the turning of the leaf as you know the connection to the stem. It's up to you. Very easy. Very, very easy. All right, we are finished. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And prior to leaving, if you would go to the bottom of the video, hit the share button, and that will give you the options of where you can share it on your social network with your family and friends. 
I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.